How are these deportations being viewed in Rwanda? Our reporter Simon Wolfhart sent us this from Kigali. About 30 migrants were to take the first flight today for Kigali. About 20 of them were finally able to have their tickets to Rwanda cancelled thanks to legal actions. In the end, there are only about 10 people from Iran, Iraq, Albania and Syria who should arrive here in Rwanda. The arrival of migrants should be done away from the cameras since journalists have not been allowed to be present, officially to protect their privacy. They will then be taken to a hotel that can host up to 100 of them and which has been renovated to accommodate the migrants. I was able to visit the, this hotel, which was still welcoming about 20 orphans from the 1994 Tutsi genocide, who had to leave the place to make way for these migrants. Rwanda's interest in setting up such a mechanism is above all economic. On the one hand, the hotel manager will charge 70 euros per day and per migrant at the expense of London. On the other hand, the Rwandan government also obtained 144 million euros for the implementation of this agreement. Deputy Government spokesman Alain Mukuralinda was clear on this point. It is London that will pay for the entire cost of this mechanism. Migrants will eventually have to either integrate into Rwandan society or apply uh, for asylum elsewhere. The Rwandan opposition has reacted strongly to this project. For Victor Ngabire, the president of the opposition party, Dalfa Murunzi, Rwanda has nothing to offer to these migrants, while thousands of Rwandans are already unemployed. She believes that the United Kingdom is giving the responsibility of those asylum seekers to a poor and authoritarian country.